Okay. So um, you guys have actually arrived at our last series of the, of the series, this class, but you'll get a good taste of it. And we'll be, um, we do a little bit of kind of warm up exercises for like more of a Qigong type warm ups. They'll be kind of, uh, well, you'll see though, they're physically strengthening. Um, and then we do kind of a flow, Ashtanga based, if you're familiar with Ashtanga yoga, but have you both ever done yoga before? Okay. Then you'll then you'll see a lot of the moves that you know that are that are in that system, um, and I guess that one of the things I wanted we've been talking with our daughter and she is in the process of um, signing up and creating a business, and with that came a lot of anxiety and thoughts around whether she's going to have it right or do it right, and it just made me think about what we're all doing in our own lives. So we tend to when we get kind of worked up with thoughts or feelings, we tend to um, actually build a case around those thoughts and feelings, like why we should be feeling bad, why we should be feeling anxious, why we should be nervous, or why we should be upset. So there's this almost added and almost taste to whatever we're going through. And what, we, what I was suggesting to her is there's an aspect of ourself that is witnessing as we know that's kind of witness our feelings witness our thoughts and it's it's always constant and it's almost you could almost appear it's almost like the beloved in you the divine in you is is witnessing and embracing whatever's occurring and you can and it's actually has a peacefulness to us a quality of, of peace to it but when we're so fixated on the thoughts and feelings we tend to um let that kind of override whatever's the background and it becomes the forefront of our lives. So she heard it for a moment. And then of course there was a lot of, a little bit of, of resistance to that too. And then it was like, well, is there an aspect of you that's actually just being with whatever is? And if you get into the flow of accepting what is, which is what the universe is telling us all the time, or the, if you look around, there's this, the space in this room doesn't reject you in any way that you come in, whether you're happy or sad, it takes you as you are. So there's also this aspect within ourself that's also always just being with whatever is. And you know, I think that ultimately what yoga is trying, if we're gonna use yoga as a, as a tool in our life to bring, bring about that awareness of our own inner peace, our inner, our inner joy, that's what it's trying to remind us of that there isn't this you against the world or you against your thoughts or you against you need to change something all the time. Maybe it just needs to have the opportunity to come and go. You know, so like a wave of emotion may arrive because some events happened in your life. But we look for the reasons why it happened. And then that tends to be why we get even more worked up about it. And then we try to solve and fix it and resist just the flow of the energy moving through you or the flow of the thought. So I leave that with you today, maybe just to, you know, when the next thought arises that may be somewhat uncomfortable or even feeling, to just be with it and let it flow. And recognize the peace in you is actually the constant. It's almost like that. There's a tenderness when you're treating, when you're working with your daughter, there's a tender, tenderness to that. When you're working, when you're playing, petting your animal, the dog or whatever, looking upon a flower, there's a tenderness that comes from you. That tenderness has never left. It's always been there. So recognizing that in yourself is the key. So um, we're gonna uh, tune in very briefly. Does anyone have any questions before we start? No? You have anything you wanna add to that, baby? <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll do one Om Namo. Uh, have you ever chanted before? A little bit? Okay, you can sit silently if you would like, or you can join us. Um, but we're going to do an Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. And Ong is creation, Namo is I bow. And then Guru Dev is I bow to that divine light, that divine teacher that resides in all of us, that spark of life. Okay. And you can sit silently or join us if you want, no problem. So bring your hands to your heart. Take a big, big, deep inhale. Exhale out your mouth and make a ha sound. And inhale into your heart center. 
Exhale and now connect your, as you exhale out, connect down to Mother Earth, exhaling deeply. And inhaling Mother Earth's energy, that heart support up into your heart. And exhaling again down to Mother Earth, giving her thanks for all of the support and nourishment and inhale to begin the chant. Oh. Now, two more times. Oh, good day. Now. Oh, good day now. And inhale deeply. And exhale. If your hands are in prayer, let them come down. So we're going to start with just a little breathing exercise. Come on to your backs and relax fully on your back. And then we'll get busy doing some, some strengthening and stretching. So on our backs, just rest naturally. But we're going to bring our awareness to our breath. So your knees can be long. They can be bent, however it's comfortable. And take the first breath and focus on the hands. Let the hands rest on your lower by your belly button on your lower belly. And now fill that belly as you inhale, let the belly rise up into your hands. And then exhale, let the belly just gently fall. And again, inhaling into your hands, into your lower belly. And then exhale, let it fall. And again, a, one more deep breath into your belly. And then exhaling. And we'll bring our, our hands or our awareness to the side of our ribs. If you want to bring your hands out there, you can do that too. And you're going to inhale to the sides of your ribs, ribs so that the ribs begin to press into your hands. It's almost like you're breathing horizontally with expansion of your breath into your ribs. And exhaling, let the ribs come back in. And again, inhaling into the sides of your ribs. And exhaling. And take one more deep breath into your ribs. And then exhale. And if you want to use, again, a <clears throat> another direction with your hands, you can bring your hands to your upper chest and let your fingertips touch. And as you inhale, let the focus be on the chest rising with the inhale, filling your hands. Your hands may, your fingers may even begin to, to move away from each other. Big, deep inhale, and then an exhale, letting it fall. <clears throat> and inhaling deeply into your rib, up into your chest. And then exhaling. And then again, inhaling deeply into your chest. And exhale. And you can just let your hands just naturally come down by your sides. And we're going to link, go ahead and take an in and out breath on your own. We're going to link these three sections, your belly, your ribs, and your chest, into one full yogic breath. So we'll pause at each little section. So we'll do like a one, two count in each part. Hold, inhale a little bit more, hold. Inhale a little bit more and hold, and then exhale. So we'll begin by, go ahead and begin inhaling into your belly. One, two. Inhaling into your ribs. One, two. Inhaling into your chest. One, two. And then exhale. Let the chest fall, the ribs fall, the belly fall. 
And again, inhaling into your belly, one, two, ribs, one, two, chest, one, two, and then exhaling, chest falls, rib falls, belly relaxes. One more round like this. Inhale into your belly, one, two, ribs, one, two, chest, one, two, and then relaxing, exhale. And just allow your breath now to be this full, deep yogic breath for a few rounds on your own. And you can send a smile to some area that your body may need. It feels like your, your legs or your lower back or your heart, wherever it needs a little love, just send that heart with a smile. Good. So we'll go ahead and begin to roll our hands and roll our feet a little bit. We're going to warm up here a little bit. Stretch your arms up over your head if you want. Draw your knees to your chest and give yourself, uh, wrap your hands around your knees and give yourself a hug. And then maybe roll to one side and come on back up. So you're going to be on all fours in a cat-cow position on your mat. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and use that long, deep breath throughout the practice when we've got poses that we're holding. But let's begin with a cat-cow. <clears throat> so go ahead and inhale, lift your head and heart, arching your spine, looking up. Exhale, round your back and look down. Inhale, lifting your head and heart, look up. Exhale, round. And keep going at your pace now. Just do a few rounds of this, inhaling, arching, lifting the head and heart. Exhaling, rounding. And then maybe on your next inhale, head and heart lifting. Exhale and shift back into a child's pose first. Let's show that where, where that goes, baby. And breathe a few breaths here in child's pose. Long, deep breath. And we'll come back up onto all fours, inhaling, lifting our head and heart, exhaling. And let's go ahead and bring our right leg up with an inhale extension. Let that leg extend back. Inhaling, lift the head and heart. Exhale, rounding in. Draw your knee in towards your chest and head. Inhale, lifting back. And do this about five or 10 times on your own. Warming up the spine. And you can give a nice smile to your spine and thanks to your spine too. And maybe on your next one, go ahead and inhale, lift the leg and head and heart. And exhale, let it come back down. And we'll try the other side. So go ahead and shift the weight and bring the other leg up. Inhaling, lifting our head and heart. Exhale, round. Each time that leg comes in, we'll draw the head down a little bit. And each time the, the leg goes out to extend, we'll arch and lift the head a little bit towards the horizon. Big inhale, good. And then exhaling, coming in. Do one more. Inhale and lift the leg out straight behind you. And then exhale, come back with the knee and roll the toes under and shift back into a downward dog. Good. You can begin to warm up your legs. You can bend a knee, lift a heel, bend a knee, lift a heel. And we're going to walk our hands back towards our feet. You can bend the knees if you need to. And then slowly come, when you've gotten there, just let yourself come all the way back up to standing. Good. So now we're going to start a little warm up. It's going to bring you some energy. So you, years ago, I used to do this in martial arts and Tai Chi, and I've kind of added it so she turned me on to some guy that was doing a lot of this stuff. So it reminded me to, to bring it back into our practice. So we're gonna just start by hopping. 
And all you have to do, you're, if it bothers your knees or legs, you can just let it be the heel lifting. But if it's cool with that, let the whole, whole feet and hands and feet, shoulders, everybody gets that jolt. Good. It's like being, it's like being in kindergarten again. <laughs> but any stress that's in your body, let it just drop away. You're holding your shoulders or your head in a certain way. See if you can let the hands and shoulders just relax. That's good, good Joanne. You got it. <laughs> good. Okay. We'll go ahead and go ahead and settle back down and you'll begin to tap. So let your feet be a little bit wider. So you're going to get some st support here and you're going to tap as you move down. You're in the back of the kidneys. You can use open hands or the, or the fists. And begin to walk down. We have this battle at home. She likes heat and I like it to be a little cooler. So we kind of come down. See if you can tap the back of the thighs. If you've ever done acupuncture or Chinese medicine, you have meridians. And all we're doing is stimulating these meridian lines and getting circulation to the body. It's like a self-massage. Come on to the inside. That's it. And the shins and the calves. And you're working on up the thighs and the quads. Good. And then we're going to hit around our belly and ribs. And it can move on up the chest. You can do your Tarzan Jane call. And then one side over here to this underneath one arm like this. Start at the lower and move slowly up towards the arm, underneath the arm. And then you're going to move so that the hand comes that tapping on the up on the trapeze and shoulder. Tap down the arm. And again, if it's too much with fish, you can open the hand up and just tap with an open hand. Seems kind of funny, huh? And then you're going to do the other side. <laughs> That's why we've got this on film, so we can watch you guys tapping. But it feels so good. I, I mean, I, I do this every day now. It's back into my, my morning routine. Good, good, good. Okay. And you'll now gently start tapping your top of your head. So don't do, don't, probably don't use the fist for this. And you can tap the side of your jaws. And then slowly let that go. Rub the palms of your hands together. And we're gonna do a little bit of spatial stimulation with the meridians on the face. So we're gonna start by brushing our eyes. Like you were just putting a little bit of water over the eyes. And then you'll take the fingers and you'll brush along the, the nostrils or along each side of the sinus. Good, and then you're gonna brush the ears. And again, if you've ever been to acupuncture, you know they put the needles in your ears and a little, sometimes they even have you come back two days later with the needle still in your ear. And we'll go ahead and now brush the whole face like you're splashing water gently across your face. And each touch can be a loving touch to yourself. Good. And we'll, now we're going to work. So we're kind of moving through the whole body. We're going to do the eyes. So our eyes are always focused on computers and driving and spoke, usually reading, especially now with the technology. So we're going to roll our eyes. It looks funny, but we're going to roll our eyes in a circle. And you're just going to let that happen about seven or eight times in one direction and then go the other direction. And this will give you muscles in your eyes some strength and some, and some stretching. And once you've gone one direction, go the other direction. Good, and then coming back to center. We're gonna, this is a funny one, and we're gonna do our tongue. So we're gonna take our tongue. Have you done this before? 
and you're going to run it around the outside of your lips. So you're going to run it in between your lips and your teeth. And you're going to go seven times in one direction. It'll begin to get the jaw and the TMJ, where a lot of stress is held, which, you know, when we're getting people grind their teeth at night, this is a great way to help someone get that to relax. And then reverse the direction. Okay. And then coming back to center, we'll do our neck. Inhaling, look up. Exhale, out the mouth. Look down with the chin to the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. Keep going at your pace. And then inhale, lift the chin up and roll the head in a circle holding your breath. Roll five, six, seven times in one direction and then reverse that direction and go the other way. If you can hold the breath, great. If you need to exchange, go ahead and exchange. And then you'll roll back both directions. If, you, if you've done both, come back to center and exhale. Good, okay. So now we go back to take the wrist like this. We're gonna go back to making a little bit more full body warm up. So hands will come back, inhale, exhale. Each time you drop the arms, you're letting any stress, just let them just drop down naturally. So swing them back with an inhale, exhale down. Yeah, and the heels will lift on the inhale and they'll come down on the exhale. So reverse, so reverse that a little bit. Take the arms, swing the arms back and lift your heels. Swing your arms back like this. There we go. He had the other way. That's all right. <laughs> That'll get the momentum and you'll get the, get the energy of the breath coming. Yeah, exactly. And now do the heart and chest. So it's like this, inhale, open, exhale. And you'll cross, alternate which arm is on top. So I had been, I was having so many shoulder issues from accidents on bikes and surfing so much that I started doing this shoulders, no problem with my shoulders again. There's a bunch of these exercises I do in the morning, but they're the, what's totally healed my shoulders again. So you're going to come back now to a twist and we're just tapping with our fists, letting the hip rotation be what swings our arms. And your breath can be, you can exhale to each side, inhale the center. And again, we're, now we're stimulating the kidney and of course the navel center with all the organs in front. And then we'll come back to center and we'll do a hip rotation. So you're just gonna inhale and let the hips go. Inhale as you move forward, exhale as you go back. Like all those calisthenics we used to do in PE when we were kids, I don't think they do them anymore. <laughs> they were all, they were really helpful. We didn't need them at 12 years old, but you know, now. Oh yeah, okay, okay they, do, they do need them as, you're a teacher, you would know. <laughs> Yeah, they need to get that exercise out. So we'll go ahead and switch the other direction and let your knees be in this play. Let your ankles also roll a little bit. So all the major joints have this kind of elasticity. And then we'll come back to hands on the back of our lower back and we're just going to use the heel lift so it's kind of a little bounce but our fists are massaging our lower back in the kidney area chinese medicine the kidneys re represent uh, vitality and support us if we've got a lot of stress and worry this is this is the organ that we would be giving some energy to also in the winter time 
you know, this one, this, this organ tends to get a little over, overworked. Good, and then coming to the hands, to the hips like this, and you're pressing in along the sides. And release, good. Two more little moves here. We're gonna inhale up, exhale back. Use the rotation. As you inhale, lift the arms, exhale as you come down. This one really helped the shoulders, if you had shoulder stuff. Obviously the swing, the, the circle may be a little bit smaller if you're having any pain in the shoulder or tightness. And then reverse. Come forward. This is your favorite, right, baby? That's a joke. I don't think she... Usually this is when she leaves the room. <laughs> this would have been good with your rowing team. Yeah. And let it come back down. And actually, we will do one more warm-up like that. Hands come like this, and you're going to hop. But we're also going to make a who sound. So it's who, 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 who. Use your navel. Who, 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 who. And then side to side with the ribs and the hands. Who, 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 and relax. All right. Now we should warm up. So come on to our... Uh, let's start on our, in a plank pose, baby, and just bring your knees down towards the floor. So we're going to continue a little bit of strengthening before we go to the, to the flow of the Ishtanga and the yoga. So many of us, as we've gotten older, we're, we've lost some strength, right? So we want to gain that back. So use your knees to start. Um, if it's comfortable doing with in a plank pose push up, you can, but I want you to exhale slowly down, inhale back up. Ideally, the shoulders, the hands are underneath the shoulders, supporting them. And you determine how much you go down. You don't have to go all the way. And if you need to use the knees, use the knees. Good. Stay with it. I never thought 20 years ago I'd be adding this to my yoga practice, but it's, it's needed at these, it's for sure. Okay, are you getting tired there, baby? Okay, so we'll get all the way down to our chest and lay flat on our chest. Bring our arms out in front of us so our thumbs are picking up like we're hitchhiking. And we're going to, if you want to watch what Soshi does one round, we're going to inhale, open up, lift into a locus, and then exhale back down, and everything rests on the floor. So try that. Inhale, lift, and keep going on your own. And your arms can go back whatever you know, direction or rotation you can bring them back. That's great, Carrie. Inhaling as we lift, exhaling as we come down. Let's do four more together. One, two, three, Four, and inhale, exhale, let it back down. Good. Take the hands, plant them into the floor, shift back into a down dog. Good, and take a breath here. You're going to walk up to your, to your hands. We're going to do another little warm up here. Bend your knees and come on up to standing if that helps. Or you come all the way up to standing. I want to do the full crow squat. So feet are going to be, a lot of us have the flex, we've lost some flexibility in our hips, so it may not be possible to lower with the heels down. If you need a blanket or a pillow, um, does that work? Yeah, so you can also do this if it helps a little bit. Yeah, this will be easier for you to do it because we want that back to release. Tell me your name again. Tanya. Tanya, okay. You need one carry, you're good. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so 
Now we're gonna do, we're gonna actually do the squats. <laughs> so we're exhaled here. We're gonna inhale, come up and exhale down. Good, all the way back down. You take it at your pace. There can be a smile here. It doesn't have to be all grind. <laughs> Four. Five. We're going to 10. Six. Seven. Nice. Eight. Nine. One more. 10, and then just pause down here and breathe for a few breaths. Good. And you'll come back up standing, inhale. Go ahead and come to the top of your mat, and we're gonna do a lunge, and then, that, then that'll be it for the warm strengthening, okay? So we're gonna do a gentle lunge. You guys should bend that back knee, and then inhale, coming back up, exhale. Exhaling down, and you alternate between the legs. Good. You guys look like you do these. <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing though if it becomes a like a, a daily routine for us that it actually your body just the joints everything starts to feel better. The first week or two, it's like uh, it's like revolt. The whole body goes, I don't like this. But now my knees, my shoulders, they're all, it's, it's a daily routine the last year for me and it's working, it's great. Oh, there you go, baby, you can really, you can really switch it up. If you wanna follow Soshi, you can, but that, be careful. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and just do one or two more and that'll be it and come back to your top of your mat. Very good. Okay, so Surya Namaskara A, we're gonna inhale and raise our arms to the sky. Exhale, fold down towards the ground. Inhale, lift our hearts. Exhale, step back into a plank. Now you can either drop your knees, come down and rise up to up dog, or you can just roll right into it. Yeah. And then exhale back into down dog. Five breaths here. If you get tired, you've got child's pose. Two. Three. Four. Five. Exhaling, coming up to your hands, Sapta. Lifting your heart, inhale. Exhale down, ashto. Inhale, rise up to standing, coming all the way up, hands above the head. Exhale, samastitahi. A, come inhale, raise the arms. Dwe, exhale, fold. Tarini, inhale, lift your heart. Chatwari, step back into a plank. And either come up into up dog with a push up version or just lowering and rolling the toes and coming into it. Up dog, then down dog, five breaths. So walk your feet up just a hair, Joanna. That will make may help a little bit, yeah. And if you need to, so go ahead and bend the knees a little bit. And then, so the pressure is not all on your shoulders. Good. Three. Yeah, all that warm up stuff we did would be awesome for your shoulders. Four. Five. Exhaling. Sapta coming up to our hands. Step up. Big inhale. Lifting our heart. Exhale, fold. Nava coming up to standing. Raise our arms. And exhale, samastiti. Surya Namaskara B. We're going to bend our knees. Inhale, raise our arms. Exhale, fold down towards the ground. Inhale, lift our hearts. Exhale, step back into a plank. Rise up to up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. 
step, rotate the left foot, step up with the right foot between the hands and raise the arms up, up over your head. Back foot will come down to the floor. Good. And inhale, exhale, fold, stepping back. Inhale up to an up dog. Exhale back into a down dog. And now rotate your right foot, step up with the left foot between the hands. Rotate the back foot down or, or keep a lunge. Exhaling, fold, stepping back. Inhale up, Nava, up dog. Exhale back, Dasa, down dog. And if you need to walk your feet up a little bit, walk them up so you don't have such a length in the arms. Good. And if the knees need to bend, let the knees bend a little bit. Two, full deep breath. Three, four, five. Exhaling. So coming up to our hands, puncha to sha. Stepping up, inhale. Exhale down, so to sha. Bend your knees, raise the arms, inhale, sup to the sha. And standing tall, exhale. Good. A, come inhale. Dwe, exhale, fold. Tarini, inhale, lift the heart. Chatwari, exhale, back into a plank. Rising up to up dog, pancha. Exhale, back into down dog, sat. Rotate the left, step up with the right, sapta. Big deep inhale, raising the arms. <laughs> Good. Exhale, fold, ashto. Inhale up, nava. Exhale back, dasa. Rotate the right, step up with the left. Big inhale. Exhaling down, dwarasha. Inhale up, up dog. Exhale back, chatwarasha. Five breaths in down dog or child's. Breathe in deep. Two. Three. Four. Good, five. Exhaling, coming up to our hands, pancha to sha. Stepping up, inhale. Exhale down, so to sha. Bend your knees, raise your arms. Inhale, exhale, samastiti. So we'll make our feet into padagustasana, make our feet hip width apart. Good. Then we're going to fold down towards the floor, either to the shins or the big toes. We're going to inhale, lift our heart. Exhale and fold down. The knees are bent, no problem. If you need to hold the shins, no problem. Smooth, deep breath. Maybe smile to your hamstrings. <laughs> Inhaling, lift your heart. Exhale, if you can, bend your knees, place your hands under the soles of your feet. You may need to keep the knees still bent to do this. And then let the head relax down, five breaths. If it's just your fingertips, it's a little harder. So maybe try bending your knees a little bit more and then you can get a little bit lower. You get the whole hand and the wrist can get the re relaxation we're looking for. Good, but may not feel so great in the hamstring. <laughs> Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, coming up to standing. Whew, good. Samastiti, bring your feet together. So we're going to step back into triangle pose. So we'll take a, our right foot, step back to the back of our mat. Yeah, switch legs there, Carrie. And then we're going to exhale, reach down towards the right chin or big toe. Left hand is on our hip. Open our heart to the sky. If you want to raise the left hand to the sky, you can. And breathe deep. Good. Can you make your right foot straight? 
There you go. Then you'll probably get better. I'm going to just shift you a little bit. And, and then your left foot would come in just a hair towards the right. There, there the hip can move. Yeah. Exhaling, come up with an inhale, rising up. Rotate the feet to your left. Exhaling down to the left side, grab the left shin or, or big toe and right arm to the sky. Turn your right foot in just a hair. Then your hip has the right angle, right? There. And I'm just going to. Beautiful. Keep breathing. <laughs> Very nice. Exhaling, inhale, rising up. And we're going to rotate our feet to the back of the mat again. We're going to take this, the left foot up and step a little bit out to the right. Okay. Bring our left hand down to a block or onto the floor or bend the knee. And left hand can be on a, a block or foot. Right hand will come to the shin, I mean to the hip. And then if we're twisting and looking to the right. Some of you may want to extend the arm up to the sky. You can, that right hand. That's your call. Breathe. And exhale, look down. Inhale and come up like a windmill. Rotate your feet. Come to the front of the mat. Again, stepping this time out like your feet are in railroad tracks. So you're going to have a little bit of space between the heels. And then you're going to bring the right hand down either to the floor or on top of that foot. And left hand can come up. If it bothers your shoulder, here, start here on the on the hip first, Joanna. So much. Yeah. So bring your right hand down like you had it. Let this hand be here. And now think of lengthening your spine. Yes. And opening your heart to the sky. There it is. Hold strong. <laughs> yeah. So now the body has the support. Good. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come rising up. And exhale back to Samastitahi. To the front of our mats. Good. We're going to step back to the right with our with our right foot, and we're going to face the back of the mat this way, and we're going to bring our knee. We're going to let our right knee bend and bring our forearm to our thigh and knee. Sweep our left arm over our head, breathing deep here. Let it come this way. There we go. And if that's comfortable and you want to go a little further, you can take the right hand to the floor on the outside and bring the stance a little deeper. Keep the breath there. <laughs> Good. Exhale, come up, inhale. Rotate the feet to the front. Bend the left knee. So have a little longer stance, Tanya. Yeah, it's Tanya, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, make the stance a little longer. You know, yeah, you know, that's good. And bring their left arm to the fore, to the thigh. Sweep the right arm over the head. So what'll help your shoulder when you do this? Yeah. Can I have this for a second? We're gonna yeah. go, we're gonna go together. Not so let it come here. Okay. Can it come up? There. Without rotating it, let it face that way. That feels better in the shoulder? Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Exhaling. Inhale, rise, rotate the feet to the back of your mat again. And we're going to have the right foot is, is bent, the right knee's bent, right foot's forward. We're going to lower our chest and heart to hover over our right thigh. Good. Some of you can maintain, you can stay here. If, if you want to take this a little bit further, you can make it into a twist and bring the left arm across and hands into a prayer. Good. Nice. Keep your breath strong and deep. Yeah, Tony, let your elbow go to the sky. Your yeah. <laughs> Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up. Rotate the feet to your left. And you notice that Shoshi kind of moved her heels a little bit so that they could have a little bit of space. This way, width-wise, not so much length, but width. And then, again, start with hovering over the left thigh. And then if that's comfortable, you can twist, bringing the right arm across into a prayer. Yeah.
Okay. Exhaling, look down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale back to the top of your mat. Woo. Okay. We're going to step back, Prasarita Padottanasana. So we'll have our feet wide. You're going to face sideways. And our legs, <clears throat> the distance between the, the feet can be really based on how the hamstrings feel. Okay, the wider you go, the easier it is for the hamstrings, but the more difficult it is for the groin. So you can also, if the hamstrings are tight, turn your feet out a little bit. But if none of that's bothering your hamstrings, just keep them straight ahead. Hands will come on our hips. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the floor, press the hands into the floor and inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, and now let the crown of your head move down towards the ground, breathing deep. Your hands can walk back a little bit so they're maybe in line with the, with the arches of your feet if you have that flexibility in the legs. So Tanya, I would make the feet wider a little bit for your hamstring. There you go. And your back. Good. So we're pressing our hands into the earth now. We're going to inhale, look up, lifting the heart. Exhale, hands to our hips. Inhale, strong, come up strong, standing with the legs. Exhale, open the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to your waist. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold down, but let the, let the hands remain on your waist this time. So just the head floats down, the hands stay on the hips. You can draw your elbows back just a hair to move the shoulders out of your ears and away from the head and neck. Good and relax the neck. And exhale, come up with an inhale, strong legs. And exhaling when we get to the top, inhale, open our arms. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind our back. Now, you may keep the hands just resting on your lower back if the shoulders are tight. Otherwise, stretch the arms back, inhaling. And exhale, we're going to fold down towards the floor. If it bothers the shoulders, again, just let them rest. The hands rest on the hips. And exhaling, inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, come on back to Samastiti. Release the hands. Good. Padraspottanasana, but we'll do a hitchhiker version because we're going to do add, add those poses. So step back to the right and rotate your feet. So we'll be this way. Come on this way with me. <laughs> right foot is back. And you're going to have your hips kind of squared up. So you're going to draw your right hip back. So draw the right hip back. Yep. Step out, Tanya, a little bit to your left. Yeah. And same, same, Joanna, step out. Good. Hands are here like this. We're going to keep a little arch in our back and we're going to lower. There used to be that little thing that we used to see where our, maybe our grandparents had it little bobbed up and down for the water. I don't remember what that was called, but that's the motion. Exhale down, inhale back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And then this next one, we're going to come about halfway. And now just hold. Draw the shoulders back a little bit, the elbows back. You're going to press the right heel into the floor. You'll feel this in your heel and your glute and your right leg. Breathing deep. There's a little arch in your back. Now take the hands. You're going to lift your chest up a little bit and bring the hands. So you're going to feel this in your, in your back and also your glutes and your, and your buttocks. Fingertips are pressing. Look at your hands. Breathe deep. Again, you're going to feel it primarily in the right heel and the glutes. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up and your head and chest up. And now turn a little bit to the right. And exhale, release. Good. And let the hands come back down. Turn your body to the front. Left leg is forward. 
Okay, short, shorter stance. Turn your right heel to face towards Soshi, to the front of your mat. There you go. And now, hands in the hitchhike, hitchhike position. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. So now the weight is in that left foot. Exhale down, pushing through the left foot, heel. And you're inhaling back up. Exhale down. Inhale back up. On our next one, we're going to exhale a halfway foot hold and breathe here. Keeping that little bit of extension in your back, a little back bend. So it's not a forward fold so much. Inhale, bring your head and heart and chest a little bit up. Extend your arms forward just above your hairline and look towards your fingertips, pressing the fingertips. Breathe. Inhale, come all the way up. Looking up, turn your body towards your left, twisting a little bit. There you go. And exhale, release the arms down. Good. Shake it. Come back to the front of the mountain, shake it out. So, um, might want to go center, baby, facing this way. We're going to bring that right heel, right knee to the hip line. So you can go the full expression like Soshi, or you can just hold the, the knee at the hip. We're going to inhale five breaths and exhale five breaths here. Good. If you want to extend out, baby, go for it. <laughs> and inhale. Exhale, bring your right leg out to the side. Left hand is on your hip. Give yourself that support and step like you're almost standing through the standing leg. So you're lengthening, straightening to the standing leg. And then inhale, exhale, bring your leg back to center. Extend your leg, point the toes. You got this one. Hold it up, point your toes. Two, hold on. Three, point those toes. Four <laughs> and five. Exhale, let it down. <clears throat> nice job. Shake it out. Okay, so left side. <clears throat> We're going to bring our left knee up. Right hand on our hip. Lift through the standing leg. So you're standing through that leg. And if you want to grab the big toe and extend the leg, you can. And inhaling, exhale out to your left. If you want to look to your right, you can. You can maybe bring a smile so your lips aren't holding your leg up. That's it. And inhale, exhale, bring your leg back to center. Extend your leg out. We got this. Five breaths. One. Ooh, two. <laughs> Three. Four, one more, and let it down. Good job. Shake it out. Okay. <clears throat> Tree pose, right? So we'll bring our right heel into our, well, if you're comfortable with it, into your left thigh. If that doesn't feel right in your, in your knee, you can bring it down by the calf. Okay. So then the hands will come to the heart. And if that's comfortable, hands can come above the head. Bring your mind's eye to your heart center. And rest in the heart right there. Focus straight ahead on something that's not moving. And inhale. Exhale. Let the arms come down. Let the leg come down. I think we'll just go right to the left side today. No half lotus. You want a half lotus? Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> If you're comfortable with half lotus, we're going to try that. If you're if if it's not so good for the hip and knee, you're going to stay with the previous pose. You're going to tree again. So bring your right knee to your chest. Yeah, be the right leg again. So bring your knee to your chest. Bring your heel towards your belly button as your knee is going to gently come down towards the floor. Woohoo! Good. Let your knee relax down. If anybody feels stuff in their knee, let me know because we don't want to push that. Okay. 
And if you're down, please bend your left knee and come rising up to standing. Ooh. And everyone exhale, exhale with the leg down. Okay, that's not an easy one. Okay, left side, bring your left heel to your left thigh, to your right thigh, press the heel into the thigh, and bring your hands to your heart for tree pose. And if you want to extend your arms up over your head, you can. Breathe deep. And inhale, exhale, let your arms and legs come back down. Good. Shake out the leg for a minute. And we'll try, again, a half lotus. So we'll bring our left knee to our chest. Let the knee be sealed so that between the thigh and the calf, it's tight. And then bring the heel, the left heel up towards your belly button, drawing it up. And then let the knee just roll down. Good. Uh -huh. Gently folding towards the floor. Those that, yeah, maybe don't force it. <laughs> and if you're down, inhale, bend the right knee and rise up to standing. Exhale, release. There's a great way to show how to do this lying down where you're not dealing with gravity. It's a safer way to practice initially when you're learning. So come to the top of your mat again. <clears throat> Um, we're going to come right into an Uttakasana, sweetheart. So bend our knees, raise the arms, inhaling. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift our hearts. Exhale, step back, come into a plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back down dog. Step up with the right foot between the hands and raise the arms. You're going to turn the back foot down, raise the arms up over your head, breathing deep. Good. One. Two. Draw your heart and chest back to me. Yes. As you bend the right knee. Three. Beautiful. Four. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Rotate the feet to your left. So you're going to face the back of your mat. You're in the same pose. Uh -huh. Raise the arms up over the head. You'll have to turn the feet a little bit. And then bending into the left knee as we lift our arms to the sky, breathing deep. Now you stay up high, stay upright. Yeah. So let, let the stance be a little longer, Joanna. Yeah. And now let the left knee bend. There you go. Inhale. Exhale. Well, our heart's going to go to the side. So you're going to face this way with your heart, but let your left leg still be pointing this way. So our heart will come here like this. Turn the right foot. Extend the arms for warrior two. Nice. Bend that left knee. You got it. Woo. Oh my God, where's the breath? Anybody breathing? <laughs> inhale rotate the feet and look towards the right bend the right knee and, and you're going to have the direction over the right leg and your gaze is over your right right hand breathe deep here inhale exhale we're going to fold over the right leg step back with the right foot into a plank Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back down dog. And come sitting down. Let your feet come between your hands and sit down. Very nice. Okay, Dandasana. You guys made it to the standing. <laughs> so we'll be in Dandasana to start. And this is just like we call staff pose. It's a very simple pose. But go ahead and just let your... Legs be straight and your spine be straight and just breathe deep here. So you're re, kind of reestablishing a nice, long, simple breath here. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll swim into this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and inhale. Watch what so she does. We'll inhale like a dive. We're diving forward like we're swimming. Exhale, bring the elbows back. Inhale, swim forward. Exhale, come back. And do this about four or five times. After four or five times, you're gonna reach down and just hold the shins or the big toe and breathe deep there. And then just fold down. Yeah, hold your shins. Breathe. Nice. We took our straps out of here. So inhaling, lifting your heart. Exhale, release. You want a John Shasana A. You want Y? Okay. Upa Vishta Konasana. So make your legs wide. Where are the straps at, baby? You know? They're not good. With, a, with the heavy mats. So go ahead and point your toes, flex your feet, point your toes, flex your feet. Yeah, it's not here today. I guess they, somebody took it out of here. Mm -mm. It's okay. Yeah, you're okay. Okay. So in this position, now go ahead and just try to lift your heels. <laughs> That's it. Good. So your quads and your knees are having to do that work. This will keep the muscles along the knees really strong. Okay, now we're going to inhale and do a swim. Inhale forward, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale. And on the next inhale, go ahead and come down, exhaling down. And you can either have the hands resting on the floor or holding the sides of your ankles, your toes, whatever works for you. Breathe deep here. Inhale, coming up. We're going to bring our body as we rotate to our right thigh and leg. And we're going to just fold down over the right leg. Breathing deep again. And inhaling, coming up, rotate towards your left and fold down over the left thigh. Inhaling, coming up. So we'll come back to the right. You're going to come with your elbow, if you can, into the inside a little bit. <laughs> this one, use your sweater. <laughs> so we're going to, no, you're good there. I'm going to use this and wrap this around your foot, actually. So we're going to go like that. And now take that with your left arm. Yes, beautiful. Uh huh. You got that, Carrie? Can you reach down towards your foot? Almost. There you go. Sometimes your shirts work as a great prop. There you go. And then you hopefully can relax a little bit more into it. And so she's been in it for like five minutes. <laughs> 
That's how you got so good at it, waiting for everybody else on video. Exhale. Inhale, come back up. And go ahead and bring your little prop with you, your towel or shirt. Rotate to the other side. Drop the left elbow to the floor. Reach up over with the right. Here, I'll help you. Now you got it. If we give a little bit of length there, you can get your shoulder up over your head. So it won't be as much strain. Does that feel better? Okay. Mm-hmm. And inhale, come up, and exhale, release. Bring your feet back together. Um, I want to do a little bit of strengthening of the core, just for. But we'll do we'll do hips real quick too. So come into a come into a nice um, hip flex here. What do we call this again? Pigeon. Thank you. And if your head can rest down on the floor or on your elbows or stack your fists, you can do whatever feels natural, comfortable. Yeah. And try to keep your, uh, trying to try to keep your hips. Yeah. Is it, is it okay in your knee? Okay. Are you guys runners? Yeah, that's why you get, you get, yeah. <laughs> you're going to feel it here then. And coming up, so you're up like in a cobra pose, so you're gonna bring your hands to support you and just do a little back bend here and breathe deep. Opening the heart. And inhale, exhale, release, and go ahead and switch. Bring your right leg forward or your other leg forward and lower your heart and chest down towards the floor. Again, nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Sometimes it I don't know how the hips will feel with it, Tanya, but if you bring your left knee a little bit out more to the left, does that help at all or no? Just, it's pretty much, it's at its maximum there. Yeah, okay. And you're going to slide the hands to support you and inhale, lift your heart, come into a little... A little back bend here. Mm. Long breath. And inhale, exhale, release. Bring your feet so they come through. And come back onto your backs. Now, we're going to do a, a little core strengthening here. So our arms will come behind our back. Head, so you can bring your shoulders and your hands back behind your head. That's perfect. You're going to lift your legs up, inhaling, and bring your arms like this as you lift your head and chest. Yep. And then come back down. Exhale. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, back down with the legs. And exhale, curl up. That's it. And keep that going. Good. You got this. <laughs> How many you got, baby? Five. Okay, let's do. You want five more or ten more? One. <laughs> five more. Okay. <laughs> Two. Mm, nice. Three. Four. 
and five, and inhaling back down, let the head, legs, arms all come to the floor. Good. So we'll interlace the fingers behind the head. Let the elbows open up naturally. We're gonna go ahead and bring, bend our knees, and let the feet be planted on the floor. And now draw your knees to hover over your hips. Good. And we're gonna alternate between one elbow coming to the knee on the opposite side and the knee comes in and back, vice versa. Yeah, you got this. One leg extends, one leg comes in. You guys are doing great. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let it back down. Bring your hands out. Bring your feet to the floor to be resting. Knees are bent still. Good. Nice. One last little um, strengthening here, baby. Would you do the alternate of the hands? If you can show them that. So you're just going to lift your head a little bit off the floor, and you're going to alternate from side to side, fingertips going to each side of the, each foot, alternate. That's it. Do what you can do. And inhale, exhale back down. Let the head relax, good. So we're gonna do a, what we call an arch and a flatten. So the feet will be on the floor, the knees are bent. Without lifting your hips, you're just gonna inhale, arch your lower back, exhale, flatten. So you're gonna engage the tummy muscles to, to flatten and then inhale, arch, exhale, flatten. You're gonna go really slow. That's it. So inhaling, arching gently, exhale flat. This is a really great exercise to do before you get out of bed in the morning to kind of reestablish re the pelvic girdle and the, som and the somatic navel center and of course the hips and low back. And on your next one, go ahead and just become neutral. And we're gonna keep the feet are gonna be planted on the floor and we're gonna use the strength of the legs to lift our hips into a bridge pose. Inhaling, lift up, exhale, lower back down. And continue that movement. You're gonna do about 10 to 20 of these depending on your pace. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling, lift, exhaling, lower. And if you feel like you're a little too long between the lifts, you can always bring the heels back a little bit. That'll give you a little bit more strength through the feet and legs to help you with that lift. So maybe that's about five or 10, right, Sweetie? On the next one, go ahead and inhale, lift up, and just take a few breaths here. You can interlace the fingers underneath your lower back, straighten your arms, maybe draw your heels back a hair towards your sit bones and press through your feet, press through your legs. And then inhale, exhale, release, bring the hands out from underneath you, lower your back, walk your feet together, walk your knees together. So our arms will be out by our sides. Palms are both facing towards the sky. I want you to roll your left palm down as you scoop your right shoulder up underneath you and look towards your right. Not yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of, so we're gonna roll, we're gonna take the right palm down, scoop the left shoulder underneath us and our left and our head will roll to the left. Then we'll roll our head to the right Scoop the right shoulder underneath us, left palm down. Just roll our head to the left, left palm faces sky, right palm down. 
And you're going to do this kind of like, it's like you're wringing out a wash rag. Not yet. Not yet. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, bring your arms down a little bit. Let's get this thing out of your way. Yeah. And use that scoop as the arm, as the scoop comes up underneath your shoulder. Yeah. And then now that you're doing this, you're going to have your right palm for the, for fun. Just have your right palm face in the sky, left palm down. Your right, your head is to the right. Go ahead and roll your knees to the left. Sorry, <laughs> I was pulling you the wrong way. And then slowly bring your knees to the right and reverse the hands and reverse the roll of the head. Yes. So now you've got the upper trunk and the lower trunk working in sync and keep going at your own pace. Roll the knees, use your core, inhaling, lift the knees towards the chest. I mean, towards the center. Exhale as they roll to the side. And then the other way. Good. You got so much going on, your mind's actually learning again. It's having to, <laughs> the synapses are growing in the brain. And then on the next one, go ahead and come back to center. And bring your knees to your chest and give yourself a hug for a moment. With your hands holding your knees, yeah. We're going to bring one leg. You can take your left leg to the floor. Let it be straight. Just hold your right knee to your chest. And bring your, your uh, right knee across the left. To be resting. If you can, you can rest on the floor along with the foot and the knee if that's comfortable. You don't have to get all the way there. Yeah. Maybe you can have your foot be back behind here. Just a little bit of support. Is that better? Yeah. Breathe here. And inhale. Exhale. Reverse that. So you'll bring your knee back to center. And then let that right knee come to the floor and bring your left knee to your chest. Give it a nice deep hug. Right leg is straight. And then bring that left leg across your hip to the other side. Turning and letting your head roll to your left. Breathe into that rib cage. <clears throat> and inhaling coming back to center you can hold both knees into your chest give yourself a hug for a moment breathe here so we're going to um, give you an option we're going to we're kind of coming down to the closing poses here, but you're gonna, you can either bring your legs up on the wall. So you would be placing your sit bones towards the wall and raise your legs, or you can come into a shoulder stand and it will plow. So it's your, it's your choice. If you're familiar with shoulder stand and plow, you can do that, or you can just bring yourself to the wall and let your legs just rest up on the wall, okay? If you're gonna do plow and shoulder stand, go ahead and let your legs come up over your head. Have you done this one before? Do you want to do this or you want to do legs on the wall? You can do, you can try them both if you want. Okay. So bring your legs. You know this one too, Carrie? Okay. You've got it. So support, support your lower back with your hands. Now raise your legs to the sky. Bring your, bring your hands here. Bring your legs to the sky. I'm going to give you a little adjustment. Is that okay? I'm going to bring your elbows in. Is that better? Good. Okay. You got it? Okay. You want your, is your shoulder cool if I bring your elbows in or are you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So here we go. One, oh, two. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hold on to that. Yeah. You got it, Carrie. You got it. So she's good. So stay about maybe five more breaths here. Deep breaths.
And then when you're ready, you can let your legs slowly float over your head towards the floor. And if you need to bend the knees, you can. Maybe it'll touch the pillow. I'll get you another one if it doesn't. And then you're going to let your, let your knees bend a little bit there. There we go. And if you want to interlace your fingers behind your back and, and straighten your arms, you can. That'll make it a little bit more intense though. Yeah, you can try to find your hands. That's it now, you got it, perfect. And those of you that have been in the plow pose for a few breaths here, go let, let your knees bend down towards your ears. Ooh, slowly, good. And let your, let your palms open and be flat on the floor and draw the knees to your chest, cross your feet, keep your head on the floor and vertebrae by vertebrae come down. You're already good. Slowly come down, let your knees stay into your chest. Heels will come slowly towards your sit bones. Head stays on the floor, core is what's gonna help you get to the ground. Good, once you're there, let the legs stay crossed and come into like a modified fish pose. So knees will come all the way to the floor. Uh -huh. Cross your feet and just let your open up your hips. Yeah. And take a few breaths here. And then inhaling, exhale. We're gonna bring our knees back to our chest and we're gonna come up for one last little, well, two last little poses before Shavasana. Let your knees roll to one side and come up to sitting. And you can decide if you want your leg to be in lotus or a half lotus or just crossed. Okay. and. We're gonna take our hands either behind our back and float down. If the head comfortably rests there, then do it that way. If the head is off the floor pretty far, let your hands be here and stack your fists and come like that. That's easier for your probably your hips. There you go, and your back and shoulders. I'm gonna get you a block <laughs> and maybe three hands. And just try to really let yourself relax here. Do you want this or not? You need that? That might help. There you go. And then inhale, coming back up. We're gonna do your elbows for a second and switch legs. So one leg was crossed in front of the other. Let's try crossing the other. And then let ourselves come floating down. And inhale, coming back up. Maintaining, you'll stay in this position. Let your hands either come onto your lap or onto your knees. And we'll just do a few breaths here. So we're going to stack from the sit bone on up to the top of our head. We're going to feel like we're going to stack the spine all the way up straight. So take a deep inhale together. And exhale together. 
And you continue this long, deep Ujjayi breath for yourself. And on the next inhale, exhale and let yourself come onto your backs and just relax down. And we'll go into a Shavasana or relaxation for five minutes or so. So you'll let your body just fall onto the floor, relax, roll the palms to face the sky, roll your shoulders up underneath you. Let your legs roll out naturally and your feet. Let it all just drop into the earth. You can smile to any part of your body that needs some loving attention. And we'll put on a little bit of music and you guys can get rejuvenated. Let's kiss this earth we walk upon with our steps. And when she shines. In the silence of your mind, hold your hand. I am It is a sound of the song in your heart. It's a song. Dance while I love it. Explore ourselves into the wind and let them let go of the
Please take a deep inhale and fill your belly, fill your ribs, fill your chest. Exhale, let your chest fall, your ribs fall, your belly fall. Again, a deep inhale, fill your belly, your ribs, and your chest. Giving thanks to your body, giving thanks to this breath, giving thanks to Mother Earth, and whatever you want to give your love to, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and roll your hands and feet in circles. If you're ready, stretch your arms, up your head and stretch your legs, inhaling. And give yourself maybe a big hug. And wrap your knees around your chest and give your knees a big hug. And roll your knees to one side and let yourself come on back up to sitting. Okay. Are you able to relax a little bit at the end there? <laughs> don't stop it's too early <laughs> yeah well good i'm glad you guys have any questions about anything we did yeah, yeah. yeah we want to prove why we're bad why we're this why we're that why we're not good enough why we're yeah and you're there's nothing actually bad about it even happening it's just a wave of energy. And yet, I think as humans, we all struggle with it on a daily basis. So, um, surrender, yeah. And you, it's not even something we have to learn. It's naturally there. It's just being aware that, that's, that we are this peace, that we are this happiness that we're seeking. It's, it's actually there. Just put the focus on the other thing and then try to figure out why that focus sometimes your body just needs to release or the mind needs to have its negative thoughts or whatever and let it pass through that's a long lesson in life i think huh <laughs> so well thank you guys and maybe we'll see you again i know we'll see you again but maybe we'll see you guys again <laughs> sometime remember once in a while we're we're gonna figure out the next yeah. we're trying to figure that out there's a couple of Spots open here. So we're trying to think about what we're going to do. And what business does your daughter in the school? <laughs> um, she is becoming a curly hair specialist. Ooh, yeah, nice. so she's going to go off on her own. And right now she's working for a salon, but she's going to start her own. Very sweet. So yeah, she's a little nervous. The ones that straight not curly. Exactly. <laughs> she's like, uh, like straightening her hair. She does. She has just lots of hair. She's now embracing it, and now she wants to spread the word and have everyone embrace their curly hair. You have kids. You Are you kids here too? Or? Yeah, that's how we learn. Yeah. Yeah, we got to stumble a few times. Oh, wow. Good for you. Teenagers, we got... <laughs> Ours are out of the teens. We're in the 20s. And that's yeah. I don't know if that's... It's better for sure. Yeah. It's definitely easier. They're, they're coming back and thinking we're actually cool and want to hang out with us again. So Mid-20s. 
the early 20s weren't so easy either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're not, but I don't think it's, they're not as bad as the, the late teens, though. <laughs> yeah. Especially you girls or boys. Well, I don't know for most kids to grow. The the entering into the teens for the girls was just like okay. Yeah. And then being there. Then being, <laughs> yeah. How long was gonna last? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably 18, 19, but they, they, there's a shift. There's definitely a, a remarkable shift at that point. It's almost like out of high school then Sure, like you. Mm -hmm. And then after college began, I think that's when we became big, big, because you're an adult, right? For real. Right. Um, yeah, so then nine years later, we were like, 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 like